All right, getting ready to do a walk around on this 1930 Ford sedan. It does have a uh, small block 307 in it. We get the hood open here shortly. What I did, I went on a test drive, pointed out any kind of flaws that I seen. This car did run and drive really good. I want you to check that out. I'll link it to the end of this. I do post videos almost every day, so hit that subscribe button if you want to join our channel. Also got a Snapchat and an Instagram and a Facebook you can follow us on as well. One of the cool things about these cars, I love how the window opens. I love when you're riding down the road in the middle of summer and it's hot, open the front window, have your side windows down, plenty of breeze coming through. It's got the looks, it's got a decent motor in it. I'm gonna start up here in the front and we're gonna walk around the whole car. If you have any other questions, visit my site. That's maplemotors.com. For those of y'all that didn't know, that's separate from this YouTube page. It does have a pretty good set of wheels and tires on it, American Racing Wheels. Those are polished so you can just keep on shining on them. The hood look, doesn't look too bad. You unlock it by pulling these up and twisting them. And there's a little prop inside there. Before I open them, I'm gonna look around. I see some little uh, chips where the hood has came down and chipped up the paint around the front, some scratches where maybe it has come off. See how it's not perfect there. It's just around those edges that we're having the trouble, so. Same thing over here, you can see some of the chips. But we're gonna go ahead and pull these, and I'll have one of my guys come up here and open it up for us. No way I don't have to sit here. And, you gotta have two hands to prop these up, so what I'm getting at paint jobs in pretty good shape mirrors and stuff look nice and shiny they're not all pitted up uh, down the car this is all fiberglass disc brakes in the front it's pretty cool looks like they put some uh, floating tile in here Dual exhaust out the back. Drum brakes in the rear. I think this back door opens from the inside. At the bottom of it looks like some paint runs. There's some bubbles popping up. That's what it is. Before the end of the video, I'll do some undercarriage shots, give you an idea what it looks like underneath. And uh, we do have detailed undercarriage shots on my website so you can see the floorboards frame, all the important stuff. A little bit of a scratch back here on the fender. Kind of making our way back to the front we'll go ahead and get this hood popped open all you do is you i'll, po I'll pop those loose already you prop it up once he picks it up on the inside here there's a little flip and you set it down right in that groove you can do that on both sides this is a small block 307 One person can do this. I was just helping him out, showing y'all how to do it. So he'll flip that up, set it down in there. Hey, I appreciate that. You can take that hood completely off, right around when your motor's sticking out. And it looks good. It looks good enough to do that with. So, pipes coming down out of the sides. 
It's like a holly carb, polished intake. Look, some polished pulleys. Electric fan in there. I do have a switch for that. Pretty cool. Go ahead and open it up. Look around on the interior. Uh, the weather strip, and I guess they made this. It's been doing the job though, and the floors are not wet. I guess that's the tweed. Looking around in here, got a nice billet steering wheel. Got to turn the key on for that one. Might have to cut the whole car on. Does the horn does work though? We're gonna get to that. Looks like a little burn in the seat. Maybe somebody had a big cigar in here, riding around in style. Aftermarket gauges on the dash. Looking around inside, headliner looks great. This thing's pretty cool. I have to throw a couple seats back there. That towel was on the seat, I just threw it over. Uh, it's got pillows to match. And a little compartment with your battery. Back behind the seat, let's see if I can pull this up. This lifts up, it's a little storage compartment. And your battery's right over there. I know why it didn't work. Before the video started, well, before I, when I got back from the test drive, I went ahead and cut the kill switch off so I could show you where it was so that I knew to remember for this video. That's for storage, storage purposes. A um, Couple switches up under your dash here. It's your fan. I wonder if that's a light system. Might be a light system there. We'll have to check around and see if it's got that. Uh, you gotta turn the switch on. This is your headlights. So you can cut that on. We'll go ahead and start it up. See, it works now. <laughs> go ahead and start it up. We just got back from a test drive. It sounds like it's flooded. Let's see. She was flooded a little bit from sitting. Smell the gas. Got a good sound to it. I believe the carburetor is new or fairly new. It's just out of adjustment. Probably have to set it up where it won't do that after a drive. guys i'm gonna go ahead and get some undercarriage shots on this one uh, i'm gonna look up under the front and then i'm gonna hit the driver's side go to the rear and be on the passenger side in that order it's pretty low on this car so i'm gonna do my best and i'm doing all this by hand here looks like a little bit of a oil leak try to figure out where that's coming from things way down on the ground I will be looking around for that but I've seen that drip make sure it ain't nothing looks like it's coming out of that steering it's coming out of this hose right here at the bottom Try not to mess my camera up. See that tape? That's what's dripping the hole. All right. Shut the door here. Sorry, I hope these angles are good. This is kind of a new thing where I'm getting under the cars. There's your Uga horn. Running a little rich here. 
smell the gas. Go ahead and get in the back here. Definitely running rich, gonna have to tune that car up. All right, made our way around there. I try to give you an honest description on all the cars, we just call it how we see it. We're here, not here to hide anything. Uh, that way you know exactly what you're getting when you get here. Don't want no surprises. We'll probably have that little line looked at that was giving that drip and get that fixed. That won't be an issue. Uh, might even get him to try to tune on the carb a little bit better. It's just running nice and smooth. the looks of that motor all right guys i appreciate y'all watching if you have any other questions please visit my website please watch the test drive on this car it was running down the road really good and it's just different it's unique you don't ever see this out riding around on the streets like i said i appreciate you watching and thanks again guys